foolish mortals. Did, did you know that John Williams did the soundtrack for this game? Who? John Williams. The guy that shot Lincoln? No, that's John Wilkes Booth. Oh, I just remembered how to fight this guy. How do you do that? Oh, fuck, dude. He gets his shit stuck in there, and then you fuck him up. Nice, dude. I can relate. Sometimes when I'm going to get food, I get stuck in it also. <laughs> and then a tiny man comes up and hurts me. <laughs> <laughs> and that tiny man's name was Michael Jordan. Fuck, dude. Oh, come on. You think you could take Michael Jordan in a game of horse? I'll fight now. You don't think he could do that? I think he could. I think Michael Jordan was staged. Michael Jordan was an inside job. It's like Michael Jordan in the moon landing. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, poor little thing. That poor little thing just tried to kill me about eight different ways. Well, that's not its fault. This was once just a normal-sized lungfish, minding its own business in a mucus-lined air bubble beneath a semi-dry <laughs> lake bed. Nice. But judging by the work done on it, I suspect Maury has mutated it, accelerated its growth, and has placed an implant in its brain to make it do his evil bidding. Just like Michael Jordan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, go inside there and try to smash the implant. Use the psycho portal I saw you steal from Sasha's lab. Oh, uh, yeah. That works on big scary monsters? Oh, monster schmonster. That thing's more afraid of you than you are of it. Now get in there! I don't think that's true at all. Yeah. See, that's why it looked like Michael Jordan was so good at basketball. Because the real Michael Jordan was on the moon, and the Michael Jordan that we all saw was a holographic projection of the Michael Jordan on the moon, which is why he could jump so well. Uh-huh-huh. Alright. Score by John Williams. <laughs> I'm on to you, fucking Nixon. <laughs> you piece of shit. So why did you just out of nowhere know that Williams did the music for this game? Uh, first of all, he didn't. I was joking. Oh. <laughs> well, fuck. <laughs> Second of all, do you really need me to tell you who John Williams is? Because I will if you do. No, I know. He's the okay. Star Trek guy, right? Yes, Star Trek. Uh, Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> Trek Wars. <laughs> I love oh, this guy. Yeah, me too. This I like the sombrero guy. Ah, top of the morning to you, ma'am. <laughs> and good day to you, Officer O'Lungfish. How are you today? <laughs> oh, damp and happy. Because I say that when people, sometimes when people ask me how I'm doing, I say I'm damp and happy, and nobody ever understands. <laughs> One day someone will, and then you'll marry her, Chris. Right? Oh fuck! I love this level. Gojira! <laughs> Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, I love this level. Yeah, this is probably my favorite level. Fuck yeah, dude. It's just like Rampage. Just like. Fuck yeah, dude. This is awesome. Astral projection layer restored. What the fuck does that mean? Extra life. Oh. Oh, that was pretty simple, actually. <laughs> right? Fuck your civilization! Chris, I need health! What does PC low letter mean, really? Uh, I don't know. Like, is there. Does anyone know? You know who we should get on the show? We should get a printer expert. Just any printer expert? Yeah, someone who can tell us, finally, answer the question what PC low letter means. Because then every time someone quotes one of my favorite movies, I can be that obnoxious asshole who tells them what it means. I feel like... Load letter means it needs paper. I don't know what the PC part's about. He's a giant monster like you, Gargalore. He brainwashed and enslaved almost everyone in Lungfishopolis. That stinks. <laughs> so hey, have you seen any other humans around here? What this level? For a girl <laughs> called Lily. The government archives might have some information about your young girlfriend, Gargalore. <laughs> I don't know if she's really my girlfriend. I mean, 
I think she. I only meant that she is your friend who was a girl, Dragalore. <laughs> to access the archives, we must first destroy the broadcast tower Kochamara uses to control the populace. <laughs> He's still dead. <laughs> I'll go smash that then. Wait, Gagalore. In order to reach the tower, you need to pass through that wall of lasers. But you'll never make it through the lasers without our help. So are you gonna start helping soon? First, I need you to do something for the resistance. Punch a hole in that prison and free my comrades. Fuck yeah, dude. Punching prisons. <laughs> Freedom. 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 <laughs> now, how about getting me past those gates? Right. We stole the shield power module from Coach Amara. It's too big for any of us to operate, but it should work for you. Fuck yeah, any power. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's fine. <laughs> Set Cochamera and all your little brainwashed neighbors? No, I doubt it. Uh, no, no. So, knocking down the prison and then breaking this laser shield thing, nobody's gonna get mad about that and start shooting at me. No, uh, maybe one guy would. But what is even an entire navy of lungfish against the might and revolutionary zeal of Gagalore? Wait, what navy? Meet us at the dam, Gagalore. For freedom! 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 Just like in Baywatch. I mean, Braveheart. Destroy everything. Dude, yeah. It makes the figments easier to see. You get shit for it. Yeah, dude. It's just the way to go, man. Destruction is life. Oh, shit. The peaceful city of Lungfishopolis is under attack tonight by a hideous, gigantic monster the terrified citizens have named Gagalore. The Navy has responded quickly and decisively, dispatching its entire tank division to neutralize the creature. Soon, authorities say, everything will return to normal or better. Kidnapping human children is good. Wait, what? <laughs> What's that last bit? That means a duffel bag tag. This guy needs a duffel bag. I know, I just want to get through. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Dude, being a giant man would suck. I feel like I'd go push over like a few palm trees and I'd be like, yeah, I guess I'm pretty much done. <laughs> right. I'm ready to go back now. This is fun for a few minutes, but I'm ready to go home. Watch out for the water, dude. Now this water's shallow. I'm oh, good. okay. So you think Raz can't like take baths? He, like, well, has he seems cool with like small amounts of water. Hmm. Uh, I said easier, not easy. Dude, wait. Equip your shield. I know. Does well, it reflect? I don't think it reflects, but it's definitely what I'm supposed to be using against these. All right. But I'm also busy, so... <laughs> can't hit what you can't Fucking catch, son! nice, dude! You came out from behind that building, like that one thing in Pacific Rim! Oh man! Or like in Godzilla, in the good Godzilla with Matthew Broderick. The one everyone likes. Not that godless Godzilla. Yeah. With, uh, Walter White. <laughs> Why can't I remember his name? I really like that guy. Brian Cranston. Yeah, that's it. Brian Cranberries. <laughs> okay, that's for real though. How do I equip this? <laughs> okay. So what's the button to activate that power? Uh, right now I gotta set the right bumper. Right bumper, okay. <laughs> Pick up tank! SMASH! <laughs> Wait, I can pick up the tanks? It said why to pick up the tank. Oh, neat. I didn't know that. <laughs> I guess Smack, I can just go dude. and free these guys real quick. I wanted to get all the these stuff. These guys ain't gonna have shit when you're done here. I know, right? They should feel so fortunate that they get a chance to start over. Not a lot of people get that. <laughs> yeah, dude, anarchy reigns. I like how my walk animation even changes to, like, monster yeah. mode. Into the lasers, son. I thought there was gonna be like a charge up animation or something. I wasn't expecting him to just. Oh, fuck, dude! 
You overloaded it! Whoa! Excuse me, gentlemen. Boom! Oh, fuck, dude. Pick it up! Yeah! Nice! Oh, fuck! <laughs> you hit the dude with another dude! It's life. It's life in the big city. It's a dude hit dude world, man. <laughs> Side power upgrade or thermal detonation. The power can use the power without invoke a massive explosion around a target or setting fire to anything nearby. I'll be the judge of that. Can I not set things on fire here? Nothing here, I guess. We need a target. Alright, well, let me. <laughs> running through the fence the whole fucking way. Look, man, I do prison breaks big, alright? Oh god, this little thing's like, NO! NO! <laughs> oh! oh, it's fish memories! Alright, got a bunch of little one fishies. And then there's a guy. Cochamera. Oh, this is Cochamera. <laughs> okay, he's come. Oh no, and he's enslaved them all. And then there's the resistance man. And that's it. Yep. Nice. So let's go ahead and put a bow on this. Freedom! 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 Yeah! Freedom! So, this big monster, is that the best you could do? We were short on time, and he is good at smashing things. Doesn't look like much to me. Come on, let's blow this joint. This guy reminds me of, uh... Sorry about him, Gargalor. He's been in prison a long time. Show. He's the only pilot the Hitler. Has, and he has an Hitler. Plan. Um, 70s. Meet us at the dam so we can put it into action. Action. <laughs> oh, 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 um... Danger 5. Yeah. That's the one. <laughs> yeah. I started to piece it together at the end there. <laughs> We're playing charades, but with mouth words. <laughs> <laughs> And squinting at each other. <laughs> <laughs> Exile Force World! Oh, 